guys, welcome back to my weekly vlog. So I just went to collect the mask. Uh, oh my god. And they were giving out one per person. Uh, so no longer four per household. One per person uh, to be collected from this morning onwards. So I went down, there was no queue. So I uh, collected for me and my family. But the mask itself, uh, it is a bit small. So I'm not sure how people with bigger faces will fit because even for me, uh, the ears were slightly uncomfortable. So I'm guessing uh, just try not to go out so you don't have to wear this if you do. Yeah, speaking of the week, it has been very interesting because um, on Friday, which is actually my birthday, the government decided to announce uh, at 4 p.m new measures to ensure that Singaporeans would practice social and safe distancing um, and that meant a whole lot of um, measures which are very very strict so starting from Tuesday all the um, there's, there's going to be no more dine-in and everything except essential services will close and on Wednesday all kids will be going to be staying at home for a month to be homeschooled which I think is going to be very problematic for a lot of parents who will also be working from home so on Friday they announced those measures and I remember having uh, my birthday lunch with a friend uh, we went to a very nice Japanese uh, omakase place and then we were having dessert and we were joking that this might be the last time we'll be dining out speaking of that i celebrated my birthday and i received two bouquets of um, the exact same flowers i'm gonna play a short clip as to my reaction when that happened the first thing happened today um, i came home after dinner with a small group of friends and i saw another bouquet of sunflowers and it was exactly the same one that my other friend had delivered to me earlier today around um, 4 p.m. so two of my best friends since a long time have sent me exactly the same bouquet of sunflowers wow I was just like I thought I was seeing double I was like Huh? And then I realized this is the exact same. The florist must be damn confused. But wow, this is amazing. Thank you, Rux and Zhechen, Mia. Thank you. So, uh, so that arrived on Friday as well. And during the evening, I actually went for supposedly bedrock steak. But when I was at the door, they measured my temperature and it was 37.6 and they said sorry we can't let you in because it's 37.5 that is the limit and the reason why I was so hot was because I actually went to a izakaya before and I had a drink and so my whole face turned red and of course I was very warm uh, not from a temperature but because I drank but they were quite strict and they were like sorry you can't come in and we won't let you in even if your temperature were to go down so me and my entire party of six uh, decided to leave and we went for individual hot pot at Beauty in the Pot that was my birthday dinner uh, no steak but hot pot is still pretty good especially since that will be the last time people will be having a uh, hot pot outside for at least a month yeah it's just been a very interesting time to be celebrating a birthday and I'm glad I managed to do it things will be fine and also I've been trying to cook and it was not very successful so I, I suggest you guys not to um, follow and do what I do if you can try to do takeouts from your favorite hawker centers um, I think there are a lot of them who are struggling especially now because you cannot dine in or at the hawker center or food center um, restaurants as well are offering a lot of takeaways and delivery so if you can do support them in any small way uh, by ordering the food or doing a takeaway yourself even though I'm just kind of also worried about the whole container situation because some people are saying bring your own container but there's also a counter argument as to you might be contaminating the person that's serving the food and then that person can contaminate other people's containers so do we save the earth or do we practice good hygiene? I'm not sure um, it's uh, I guess 
every time when a public health crisis happens, people tend to be more safe than sorry, which unfortunately also means higher single-use plastic wastage and usage, so that's not very good. I also just received um, a ColourPop shipment, probably one of the last few, and this is a moisturizing avocado face milk, which is pretty cool, I can't wait to try. And there's also a very cute um, eyeshadow called Jelly Much, which is holographic. And a Luxe Velvet Li Lux Liquid Lipstick. So I'm gonna try it on camera because why not? It's in a shade called Take a Bow and it's a new um, kind of format. And I know actually I have a lot of these already but I just can't help buying them because they are so cute. Anyway, it will be the last one for a very long time. Um, so I thought I would just try and see how the shade will look. It's like a cherry red. Oh, it's quite nice. It looks lighter on camera. In actual fact, I think it's a little bit darker. Pretty good. I like it. And this was achieved with just one application, so you don't need a lot. But yeah, I've been reading uh, reports as well that lipstick sales have gone down because people are wearing masks. So yeah, I guess you just need to focus on your upper half and then everything else below you can just forget about it. The Jelly March shade is called Whistling Pixie. Can you guys see? So I guess it melted a little bit. Oh, it's so cool. It's like cooling to the touch. Pretty cool shade and it's glittery. But it's so weird. Why is it so cold? Nice ah. It's like a peachy, peachy shade. Okay, I'm gonna try a bit. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Very nice and glittery. Quite like it. Yep, that's it for my ColourPop uh, unboxing. <laughs> Interesting week. I guess uh, we just need to hang in there. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon next week. Bye.